So behind this door, guys, Rap Sesh and Vinyl Vixen is getting my Ceramic Pro Gym Glow 2016 Ford Mustang ready. And I haven't seen it yet, so I'm pretty stoked. Saw a little preview on Instagram. So let's open this door and see what we got. This is sick. So immediately I can already, I can already see this crazy pink hue. Check this out. When you move, when you kind of move your head and your eyes, you can see the pink shift in the, in the white. And if, if you know, uh, Ceramic Pro's kind of theme color is pink. So we wanted to go with that. And I think this, this uh, wrap material right here is representing that one extremely perfect but other than that it looks really sick and it's kind of got like this matte finish to it damn that looks so cool wow this is sick check this out they've they've cut they've cut right here in the hood so you can you can tell that it's still carbon and sean from slick shot also left that in there when we originally painted the car so Props to him too. Looks like they've got the hood, got the hood done. They've got the doors. I, they got the doors done. This is this looking so awesome. Got the, got the roof. Heck yeah! And over in the corner of my eye, I see our Anderson Composite PT350 bumper over. Let's take a look at it. Looks like. Slim Shetty is getting pretty far on it. Whoa. So this, what I've been told, is a textured carbon. So check this out. So this bumper is fiberglass. So uh, it was painted. We did do a little prep work on it. But uh, I think this is a this is a pretty epic uh, vinyl choice for this. And if you guys didn't know, we're gonna 50/50 this vinyl right here. So what's that means? Half the car is gonna be ceramic pro, and half is not. And uh, we're gonna tell you later what exactly ceramic pro is. But uh, to be speedy about it, it's a coating that basically protects the car against the elements, UV UV rays, rock chips, uh, and it makes the car extremely easy to clean. But we're gonna go in depth. Uh, we're gonna go in depth in that a bit later. So Mike is kicking butt on that. Let's see what Jess is doing. So this is Jess over here from Vinyl Vixen. Looks like, <laughs> it looks like she's prepping one of the hips of her Mustang. Get ready to lay a big piece of, uh, what exactly is this color, Jess? KPMF matte pink starlight. There might be an Aurora somewhere in there. And I mean, as you can see, you got this just super awesome pink hue. And I'm I'm really stoked to see this in the sunlight. So let's go back to this. We're going back to the carbon fender right here. There's gonna be a really cool stripe that goes down here in pink and gray. And then they're gonna leave a, a part of the fender exposed so you can actually see that Anderson Composites uh, uh, fiber. That Anderson Composites carbon fiber. And below here, uh, we're just gonna leave this raw carbon because I mean I just really love the look of the, the AC stuff and let's see what else and uh, as you can see right here this is our uh, our completed design and it's, I mean we're pretty far from getting it complete and uh, we still probably got a, another solid two weeks before you can even hit the track we still gotta let that surround pro here as well in the car and uh, let's just let's talk about the car a little we got the bumper off you see this full race intercooler kind of road trip the car a lot so i mean it's taken a beating but i mean this thing is this thing is the best intercooler when it comes to uh mustang stuff let's uh let's look at the rear of the car
Looks like Mike has gotten the. Looks like Mike has gotten the rear of the car taken apart already. Got the bumper and tail lights out, and uh, Jess is gonna go. Uh, is that knifeless tape or what is that? So Jess is applying the knifeless tape, and what I I don't know anything about wraps, so I'm not gonna try and sound like an expert here, but the tape has string in it, so kind of kind of help me, Jess. Correcto Cito. Correcto Cito. Yeah, And uh, we lay this on the paint surface first, and then we wrap over it, and then we pull the string, and it's going to break through this green stuff, and um, that's when we make all of our lines on paint. So we're never actually putting the knife directly on the paint. It's always in the gaps, or just an air cut, or we're using this tape to like create stripes, and this whole design is going to be created with this tape and the four different films that we're using. So it's going to be really intense. Sick. <laughs> what she said. What she said. <laughs> Basically, it's a lot of hard. It's a lot of work, but at the at the end of it, I love I love um, uh, layered vinyls. I don't like printed wraps. It's just it's just not my thing. If I were to wrap a vehicle, this is exactly how I do it. If we're putting multiple layers on the car. I mean, the inspiration comes from uh, a lot of the D1 stuff I like. Basically, uh, D1 Drifting has a lot of chrome and layered vinyls, and that's just kind of something I've liked as a kid. So, I mean, we're just going to go forward with it, and I think the end product is going to be fantastic. So, yeah, they're going to be about three or four days for we really see a final product here. And uh, we're going to take some photos of it. Not too fancy yet, because right afterwards, we're going to take it to higher quality detail. Been doing a lot of services for him for the past almost four and a half years. Great guy. You know, I mean, they've been killing it at the Tesla game. So, I mean, if you're in Phoenix, Tempe, Scottsdale area, and you need your car detailed or Ceramic Pro, highly recommend going to uh, Higher Quality Detail. And, again, you can check out this link, higherquality.com, and he can get you hooked up. But, anyways, he's going to take the car and right down the set, uh, right down the center of this car, we're going to do half Ceramic Pro and half uncoated. And basically, we're just going to show the effects of what Ceramic Pro is going to do to this wrap over about a one-year period. And to already predict what's going to happen, this side is going to start to yellow out. Phoenix is, if, if you don't know about Phoenix, it gets extremely hot here. It's a dry heat. So we're looking at, like, temperatures up to 120 degrees. And the surface, the surface area of this car is probably going to get an easy 180. And what we experienced last time, we had a chrome wrap on this, and the car actually... The, the chrome actually burned onto the, the paint. So it started turning these really weird colors. And when we took it off, it was extremely hard to pull off. So we're gonna show how easy it is to clean, not only clean this uh, vinyl, we're gonna show how easy it is to take off after a year long period. And more importantly, when we go out to the racetrack, we're gonna show how unbelievably easy it is to clean up the side of the car when that rubber gets kicked up from those R888 and Pirelli tires. So I'm just, so we're told, I'm totally going to go, none of this is scripted. I'm just thinking in my head, we probably take about five to four takes and I'm, I'm just pausing away. And this is my true first attempt at a vlog. So I'm pretty excited that I've already got, we've already got kind of a small following, but I'm really excited to get some new followers and, and uh, just see how I progress through this because this is something I've been fighting for a long time. I've been wanting to do vlogs, and I, can't, I keep fighting myself. And then I said, you know what? Let's just do it. I want to. Let's just figure this out. We're gonna. I'm just ranting right now, but more than anything, we're basically gonna follow this car and uh, the trailer with this car, and we're gonna go racing. And a lot of people are asking the most common question: What are you gonna go racing at? And to answer that really easily, we're gonna go racing everywhere. I mean, we're looking at. Uh, Auto Club Speedway, which is in California, Laguna Seca, Circuits of the America, and Pikes Peak International Raceway, uh, Button Willow, uh, Streets of Willow, and I'm, I'm really hoping we make it out to the East Coast, to Road Atlanta, VIR, Watkins Glen, and I mean, those, those are like dream tracks, like stuff that I, when I was like 16 or 15, just 
you know, playing Gran Turismo, playing Forza, and you're like, wow, these tracks are so sick. And when you actually see them in person, what those games don't perceive is is the, the elevation through those tracks. And I've been to a lot of them through traveling with SRO America, Block Con, and, and Farley World Challenge of the crazy elevation these tracks have. So I can't, I can't even express how freaking excited I am to actually drive these tracks myself. And you know what? We're going to we're gonna have a section in these videos where I tell you all about the tracks. Like what I'm experiencing, where I messed up, and where I did okay at. But honestly, I'm not the best race car driver, but I have some decent skill. And again, you guys are going to come along with me on this journey, see me progress, and I'm truly excited for that. And again, thanks to everyone that's, that's been following this, and uh, we're just going to keep making these videos. What's up, you guys? Vinyl Vixen and Slim Shetty. What's up, guys? We are the co-owners and master installers of Rap Sesh AZ, um, AKA Vinyl Vixen Raps. Uh, we are located here in Mesa, Arizona. Um, we're just kind of a little tight knit special we're a rap shop. Small mom and pop kind of shop with just me and you and one other installer. Yes. yes. And, uh, so we like to do a lot of really cool color changes, full coverage wraps, multiple layer knifeless designs, just really custom, really crazy. That's what we really like to do. Um, so it was really great getting to work with Charles on the Function Factory again because we actually wrapped this Mustang like two, three years ago. Yeah. In our first year of business, we wrapped it for SEMA. We did this crazy like three layer chrome design. Yeah. Um, and so <laughs> Charles came back to us again. He's getting ready to go on this crazy tour all over the US and hit all these tracks up. Um, so we decided to do a four layer um, knifeless design on this. Well, instead of just going with a normal a print. A single layer that print. That everyone usually does. That's been we, done before. So so instead of using the, the single print that we, you know, normally everyone does, he wanted the fancy materials. On the different finishes. Yeah, and so we went with the super crazy white with the pink, you know, iridescent in there. Went with a high metallic pink and then a textured carbon fiber, which really set off all three layers. Right, so we really do have like four different finishes. The exact colors we have on here is we have the Avery textured carbon fiber. We have his live carbon on like the fenders and stuff that's showing through. Um, and then we have the base layer, which is KPMF matte white pink starlight, I believe is the color. So it's got that really nice pink metallic sheen oh, when yeah. it hits the light just right. Um, and then we have Orcal gloss telegray accents along with the Hexus Indian pink palette. Really, really cool film. So we created all of this by hand, multiple layers, super amazing, as opposed to just doing a single layer print. And the reason why we like doing that is- You can line stuff up better. Yes. We create the design completely by hand with like a tape and a string. Like it's really crazy. Um, whereas when you're doing a single print, print job, like you have to rely on a designer who may or may not even be here in this state who may or may not have even seen the car, and they have to be able to digitally render this up and make it line up perfectly. To make the hood line up with the fenders. On a 3D surface. Yeah. surface, which is like, it's really hard to hit areas like your it's fender to impossible. your trunk, um, your front fender to your front bumper. It's really hard to line things up. So we like doing it this way, because we can just rely on our personal skill to just make it work out. Yeah. So yeah, it, it took us about- it's About a week to do, bouncing around. Off. But uh, after, I mean, the end product, I mean, turned out super clean. Uh, the colors are on point. I'm, I'm pretty sure Ceramic Pro is going to love this thing. Yeah, I'm so. super excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how the wrap is going to hold up as far as the ceramic coating. Yes. They are only going to coat half of the car. Um, and I think with this matte white base, it's going to make a huge, like, night and day difference. Just with this, dust. With this car going on the track, yeah. as far as brake dust, even, like, it's been gone a few days and there's, like, dust all, all <laughs> up on the pips because it hasn't been coated yet. So, I'm really excited to see how that's going to affect the longevity of the wrap. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, we had a super blast with this one. This is what we love to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, Charles. <laughs>